Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to be going through some threshold adjustments so that we can create this nice poster type effect that I have on these giraffes. Now recently I went to Jacksonville Zoo and I took a picture of some giraffes and I decided to have a little bit of fun with the threshold adjustment. Now I am using Photoshop Element 7. You can also do this in Photoshop CS4 and CS3. So let's go ahead and take a look at what my original picture looked like. I'm going to go to the edit and then revert my photo back to the original photo. You can see this is what I started with. Now in order for the threshold to work uh, you just need some nice contrast and in this case we have the giraffe with white here and then of course the brown spots. Now let's take a look and see what this does. I'm going to go over to filter, adjustments, and then I'm going to look at the threshold. You can see here that it creates a nice black and white. That's what threshold does. It creates a black and white. If it goes to a certain threshold, it changes it black. Anything underneath that threshold, it changes it to white. So it is a true black and white converter. If I swing the threshold number down, more things are going to be created white and less things are going to be created black. So you can see that. Now the only thing I'm not really happy with is this area right here. We don't have a whole lot of detail where the eye is. We kind of lose that in this threshold. So I'm going to hit cancel because what we're going to do is we're going to take two of the images and blend them together. So now I need to create a layer out of this. You can do that by double clicking on this and then it's going to create a layer out of our locked background. I click OK and you can see that it transformed into a layer and there's no longer a lock. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer using my Control J or Command J. You can see that there is another copy of this there. Now what we want to do is we want to create a threshold layer that really captures the eye. And then in the second layer we're going to create a threshold layer that captures everything else. So let's start with the top copy. I'm going to go over to Filter, Adjustment, and then Threshold. Now remember, the only thing that we want to do now is we want to create a nice eye threshold. We want to capture the eye here. So I'm going to go down and keep going until I can see the eye fairly well. So you can start seeing some detail in the eye there and I'm pretty happy with that maybe a little bit more I'm pretty happy with this here but we lose a lot of spots down here I'm going to select OK I am going to turn the visibility or as people say the eyeball off then I'm going to make sure I'm going to click layer 0 because remember we have to be on the layer that we want to affect I'm going to go over to filter and I'm going to do the adjustment again with threshold. Now remember this time I want to adjust for the spots. Okay, I want to get about as many spots as I can get. It's starting to look really nice here and you can see that the spots are coming in very nice. You can see a lot of detail here. So I'm happy with that. Now what we have to do is somehow we have to blend these two together. Now most of you know that there is the trick in Photoshop Element 7 and that is if we create an empty layer below this layer we can kind of make an adjustment with this uh, we can group this so I'm gonna go ahead and hold my control key down on when I'm on layer 0 and I'm gonna click on the new layer icon which is this dog-eared thing right here and what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a blank layer below this completely transparent you can tell by the little checkerboard pattern here so now what I need to do is I need to do some a clipping group with this. So if you hold the Alt key down, you get this little figure eight type thing. And when we click on this, you can see that that kind of pulls this over to the right a little bit and has this little arrow. Now what we need to do is we need to paint the areas that we want to have where the eye is from the top layer. Everything else we want to use the bottom layer because it has the nice spots here but the eyes a little jumbled up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint in that area where the eye is and what it's gonna do is it's gonna superimpose this layer over onto this layer so let's go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like now I need a black and white palette so if I click on this default foreground and background 
right there you can see it converts it to black and white you can also click D on the keyboard and that will also bring up the black and white as well now we need to paint with black on layer one and anywhere that we paint in black with layer one it's going to take from this copy and superimpose on this copy now I need a little bit larger brush and I'm going to go select my brush tool here and I need well maybe that's pretty good now I'm going to start painting here and you can see wherever I paint black it's superimposing whatever was on the top layer here onto the bottom layer so I'm getting a little more detail in the eye right here but I really love those spots that are towards the bottom so we're kind of blending the two layers here and really don't want to do too much more here just kind of make that look nice and artsy here and do that maybe a little bit more near the mouth and nose here so we can see a little bit more like there okay so now we've successfully blended this top layer and the bottom layer now what we need to do is we need to get rid of some of this stuff so I need to go this is the layer that's visible remember this is just superimposing just a small piece of this so now I need to flip these around to where I've got white now I can also click X on the keyboard we need to just get rid of some of this stuff so let's go ahead and wipe some of this stuff out because all we really care about is the giraffes right here so we just want to get rid of everything except for the giraffe and the spots so I'm going to do this and I'm just going to paint over all this which is not the giraffe so we've got a lot of this extra stuff that we're trying to get rid of here there we go get a few of these things that may have actually been part of the giraffe but I'm gonna go ahead and paint that out just for the sake of this tutorial so let's go ahead and clear all this and there is a second giraffe there you don't really see it that much but there is a second giraffe there so we want to make sure that we keep that second giraffe and I'm painting all this out kind of painting around where his nose is and maybe a little bit more right there okay so now we have this particular picture now what we would like to do is we would like to create another layer below this one now do you remember how we do that we hold the control key and we click the little dog ear piece right here and that will create a transparent layer below this now I don't really need these superimposed on each other anymore I can now merge these so if I click on this layer hold the control key down and click on all three layers you can see that the dark means that they're all selected if I right click on this you see the option to merge layers so I need to merge these layers that's very important for what we're going to be doing next because we're going to be changing the blending option now if you remember my picture had a gradient a nice smooth gradient so I'm going to change my colors I'm just going to pick two very similar colors and I want to give it that yellow look so I'm going to pick yellow as the starting color here maybe even a bright yellow and then as my background color if I just double click it it brings this picker up and I'm gonna pick more of a brownish color that brownish color resides somewhere in this orange and you can see that this will be kind of more of a brownish orange color And I'm gonna select OK now you can see it's going to blend from yellow to orange now let's select the gradient tool right there and you can see as a default it comes up automatically foreground to background color and that would be yellow to orange I'm just gonna leave it on the default linear gradient I'm gonna start at the top if I wanted to I can hold the shift key down to make sure that I draw a straight line and then I'm gonna let go now you're saying to yourself that's really great but it didn't do anything well you're right because this is a black and white picture on top of a gradient now we need to use our blending modes and change this copy here if I change this to soft light kinda gives it a really cool effect here it changes the black into the background colors makes it a little bit darker but you can still see the gradient in the background I kinda like that one you can also use the overlay 
the overlay blending mode, what it does is it gives it a little bit darker color right there and you can see a little bit less of the gradient. You can now see the gradient more in the giraffe right here and less. And I'm really liking this one. But if you miss the black color, we can do a simple multiply, which is over here. And what that does is it just multiply, gets rid of the white, and then just lets the black bleed through. So here we have it. We've used the filter adjust and threshold and we've used that to convert a picture over into a nice black and white and we've given it a gradient and now we kind of have this silhouette looking piece right here. If you like my videos or even if you don't like my videos you can go ahead and subscribe, please comment and come back and visit for some more Photoshop Elements tutorials. Thanks and have a great day.